Hello everybody, hope you're having a no blessed day. Today, I want to share with you guys kind of a gear profile that I may be changing to once uh, this new buff to a certain spell for fire comes out in the summer test realm to live. Now, you can see right now my health is very low, and I'll show you the stats later, but the spell I'm talking about is Fire Dragon. So right now, if you look at Fire Dragon, it has basically four, 440 and then like 351, something like that damage. However, I don't know if they're going to change this buff or nerf it how they set, but it was going to change Fire Dragon. Still 7 pips, but have 600 at the start, unenchanted, okay? 600 at the start with the 351, so basically 1,000 damage, okay? And that is huge, because the whole reason I had my last setup, because I did the most damage over time, okay? Because the whole argument talking about how going for more damage and less power pips, you know, you can still use Meteor and go for that. However, I used my last setup. I had less damage, 100% power pip, because I wanted to use the Dragoon Amulet. Okay, so if we go to the Dragoon's Amulet right now, let's see if I can find it. There it is right there. Okay, let me check the spell. This is the spell I was always talking about, why I use my current setup. that has like the 8k health and a whole lot not. Because this is the best card, I feel like, for hit off or fire, okay? Of course, we have Rage and Bolt, which is getting a nerf and stuff like that. But this is the best for four pip. It's way better than Enchanted Meteor. Even if you can go for more damage, okay? Because my last set had like 165 damage, I believe. And I used this card. That had a 680 base and 720. And right now, the highest you can get a Meteor, even if the Epic is like 620 as a high end, okay? So this basically has 100 more damage than a Meteor. Which is why I used the little setup. However, with Fire Dragon getting the buff, having 600 unenchanted, which probably means it'll probably have like 700 enchanted plus, maybe 750 enchanted plus for that first hit. I may need to change up my setup, you know? And this is just no option you can think about. I may still go with my old setup, but here is a no option, okay? So this is the whole argument here. I talked about how you can get more damage, how it's not the best setup. And you know, this is the higher setup, okay? This is more damage, same amount of critical, okay? And this is what it is. You have 7,000 health, so you're losing 1,000 health already. Which is why I was always talking about how I didn't really care for this setup. But you know what? This is an option. So 7k health, if you're playing that kind of glass hand and hitter, which you know a lot of times if you have friends, this is what you're going to do. You have now 171 damage, which is about 6 more damage than my last setup, so you are getting more damage out there. Okay, and that's kind of where the argument came from. Like, you get more damage if you use this setup. True, but if I use my Edo setup, I get my whole Dragoon's Amulet card, and that's still going to do more damage to your Enchanted Meteor with these stats. However, if now with Fire Dragon coming out, who knows? Because now I think Fire Dragon these sets is going to do way better than the Fire Dragon with my old setup, okay? So yeah, this is our whole argument with that, so I'll be testing that when it does go live. But then you have 29 accuracy, uh, resist, because we don't cover resist. 38 accuracy, we still have 100% accuracy, which is really nice. And then critical, 860, you know, we need 8, I think we need 838, something like that, 837, something like that, to get 100% uh, critical. Which is what you can do with the setup right now. You can't really reduce to that, which I, which I have right now. Because the only thing I can take off is like 26 critical. Or something like that, I believe. And if I do that, yeah, I'm not going to have 100% act, critical. Which is why I say, you know, you could go for more damage, but you're losing that chance for critical. Block is 1%. <laughs> doesn't really matter what other kind of block I put on here. Block is dead in the game. And hopefully they start changing up the coming year. Because I feel like block really needs to be back up hard of the game. Maybe not so much of bosses in like the PvE, but in PvP, definitely. Okay, uh, Pierce is actually 13, which is not bad. Anything close to 15% that can Pierce for, I always say, like a, a fortify, is really nice in the game. Okay, so 13% Pierce, we don't care about the healing. 9 pit shower pip, 6 to 1 conversion, and then we have 93% uh, power pip, which again is where my argument always lies in my Edo setup, because I like always, ha always knowing in the back of my mind. I'm always going to get a power pip, okay? No matter what happens, I'm getting a power pip. I don't have to think about of what happens or what can I do if I fail pip and I kind of mess up my strategy, okay? So again, if you're going for the whole glass cannon, you want to have more damage, you're going to lose that power pip, okay? So right now, the downside so far to me is that you lose 1,000 health and you lose 7% power pip, and but you do gain about 6 that damage, okay? So there you are right now. And for the gear for this, you're going to still have the Dragoons. Okay, because Dragoon hat and boots are still the best thing in the game. For the rope, I'm now doing the whole Radiant Light Brigade armor because it's going to be above that 7k. You know, I could use the Real Master and I would get 3% more power pip. 
but then I would lose more resist. My accuracy would go down. Well, actually, accuracy would go up, but I would lose that health, and I don't like being below 7k. I feel like, as me as a fire, I feel like I've been so, I worked so hard to get above that 7k, and now I'm above 8k. I don't want to go back down, okay? I know it'll be changing resist too, so I feel like even more health be even better because how to change resist you know having higher resist and less health may not be the way to go so yeah i like trying to get my health as high as possible or more already a glass cannon so more health is better in my opinion so yeah there's the brigade get that hole from the whole uh zoo uh the sewers and xanadu i think something like that boost again dragoons best the wand is still simmet's wand still the best because it gives you pretty decent crit and this is at 22 damage is why it's so important, okay? And there's no better one of this out in the game. For Avum, I switched back now to the uh, level 100 from Darkmoor. Mainly because it gives you more power pip chance. I know you can go for the whole uh, Fiends more Ganus one, but then you're even losing more power pip. But that's just an option. You can get one more damage if you want to get more power pip. Always not pick this one because this is what I have like the, my uh, like, max jewels on, basically, except for that health jewel, which would be 125. So I just swapped this one on quickly. So, I guess you can go for 172 and have, I guess, 7 more damage if you want to use the Morganth. And that may put you down to like 90%. And actually, I'll probably check that too before I actually end the video. I'll probably go check what the Morganth Avum is. I'm pretty sure it may put you at 90% power pip. Alright. Amulet is still going to be, again, the Shane Amulet. Best critical amulet in the game. We have the Dragoon's Ring. Best critical ring in the game. And I have pretty good uh, jewels on there. I could get an 18 jewel, but it doesn't really matter for the setup. Pet. Basically, you're taking out the critical hitter and you're putting this another no pain giver on there. Okay, or a fire giver or something like that. So you're basically going triple damage, triple critical. Always say get a blade pet because always a blade pet is always good to have. So this is what you do now. This you get a 6% damage boost basically also from. So that's nice. Uh, you still use the file of Gulcher. I did get this. I'll show you something I've been doing now. Here's a 2% uh, mount I got from a bundle recently. It was on sale. But yeah, we use the Gulcher for 3% more damage. And it's still in the main deck with Power Pip. Alright, so there's that. Okay, and I said I was going to check the Avum, so I need to go find out where I have that Avum at. I don't think I have him in here. Actually, wait, I have an Avum, don't I? I do. So let's just check this Avum out. So I'm losing 2% Power Pip, and I'm losing some accuracy, don't care about that. I'm losing some health, which I do care about that, but I gain 1 damage. So let's keep that in mind. I would say 1 damage. And 2% power pip. So, my power pip would be 91%. So, even lower. So, most likely, when you're doing these long like boss fights and stuff, you're going to get a lot of white pips. Okay? It's going to happen. You're going to hate that. So, I'm not a fan of that part. But you do get 172 while having max critical. So, it's even higher. Alright? So, I'm going to have to find my Edel Avon I have that has some critical rings on there. And when that fire dragon does come out, I'm going to have to do some testing. Okay? I'm going to test on this, on this wizard how high the damage gets. And then I have to test how high it is compared to like a fire, my regular fire dragon on my Edo account. On this Edo stats, okay? So with that in mind, that's going to be the video. And I hope you enjoy being able to see what the Edo setup really can be right now. If you want to go more damage, more of a glass cane, if the chance of having less power pips, go for this setup, I guess. You can also get the Avon. I talked about Morgana. I gave him more damage to up to 172. And that's up to you. And now that I think about it, I probably will stay with 165 damage because I do get almost 1,000 more health. And I also still get to have 100% uh, critical. I only lose about 7 damage. But I still get a homestead power pip. And I think power pip is still key when questing, okay? Because I don't know how many times I quested solo. And something's happened that I got a fail pip. And then I died with some kind of random RNG critical hit on me, okay? So I want to avoid that, okay? So that's just something else that I don't have to worry about. But yeah, with that in mind, that's the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Kind of this helps support me make more content for you to enjoy. Now, like always, and at the end of every single one of my videos, I hope the rest of the week is blessed, and I hope I see you all again in the next video. See ya.